guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a first impression on the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I did do one update throughout the day for this video as a wear test, but I can't really say very much for the longevity of this foundation, but I can give you my thoughts after a couple of hours. So if you'd like to see my first impressions and a little wear test for the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so we are gonna be digging in to the Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation by NYX, and I am in the shade Medium Buff. This should work pretty nicely. So before we get into foundation, we are gonna prime our face, and I'm just gonna prime half of my face. I just wanna see what the foundation is like with and without a primer. So for the primer, I'm just gonna be using the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I know that I really like this primer, so it will give the foundation a fair chance. Okay, so we have primed side, not primed side. So the packaging of the bottle is really nice. It's a nice glass bottle and it does have a pump. And I think it looks pretty nice. So I'm just gonna pump this right on my face. And I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend that in. Okay, I'm going to do a couple pumps on the back of my hand. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. It's not heavy. Okay. Buildable, not cakey. Okay. So I did three pretty light layers. It's kind of nice. First impression, let me zoom you in. So, first impression. I think it looks really nice. I think it looks really natural. It blended nice and easy. It doesn't feel thick. It hasn't dried down yet. I think it looks pretty good. I don't think it's settling into pores. So, primed, not primed. I don't think they look that much different. This one maybe is a little less coverage, a little more in my pore than this one. But actually, it looks really good if you compare the two. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be back to give you an update on how it sets and how all of my favorite concealers and products apply on top of it. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Let me zoom you in so you can take a look at how the foundation set. I did do my foundation first and then my eyes, so I did use more powder than normal, but I don't think that it looks too dry. I don't think that it's super accentuating my pores or my lines. So we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. Right now it is 2.24. So I will do another checkup in a couple hours and I'll see you guys soon. Okay guys, so I am back for an update. It is currently 7.55 and I, this is probably gonna be my only and last update. 
Um, I didn't really do a whole lot today. I was just kind of editing, so I figured I would just do one update at the end of the night. Um, you did see my first impression. I did actually really like this foundation. I was just looking at some of the footage, and it does look really nice on camera. Like, before I even put some highlight and blush on, it has a really nice glow, like a very nice natural finish. Um, I do think that I use too much powder with this foundation. Um, my normal amount of powder is probably too much. This is a matte foundation, so I probably use too much powder. So it may look a little bit cakey, but overall I think that I would use this again. I think I would try it out with uh, less powder and see how that goes. So let me zoom you in so you can get a good idea of what my skin looks like. So this is what our skin is looking like, and I don't think it looks too bad. Like I said, I think it's a little bit cakey, like sinking into my pores a little bit, but it really does not look horrible. I just think I used too much powder. You can see it just like kind of accentuating my texture. And I know it's like, and my nose does not look good either. I'm definitely not really oily. So that's nice, but like I said, I think I just used too much powder for the matte power in this foundation. So I definitely want to try it with just a little bit of powder. I was doing this dark eye look and the shimmer was giving me fallout, so I think the extra powder under my eyes isn't doing me any good. It's going into my fine lines. Usually my forehead's not that wrinkled. Definitely over here, it's all sunken. Not as bad over here. So let me zoom you out and I'll give you my final thoughts. So after seeing the close-up, what do you guys think? Do you like this foundation on me? I definitely want to use it again. I will use it again on camera with less powder and see how that goes as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye.